بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويلكم باك تو ماي تشانل درلينج اند ورك اوفر ذيس از عبد العزيز جبر اي ام ناو فاينلي بيكم اكريديتد اي دبليو سي اف انستراكتور اند اي ام اولسو اكريديتد اي اي دي سي فور ماد انجينيرنج انستراكتور بيزك اند ادفانسد ماد سكولز لاست سيشن وي هاف توب بيفور ذا لونج ريست We talked the, the questions about the causes of kicks and the positive indications of kicks. And today, this is the part two of these questions, and I hope, inshallah, we can finish them today. The question number 33 uh, The crew must be prepared to act quickly and effectively if there is an influx. What is one action the crew can take in advance to minimize the volume of potential influx? Okay, here he is asking about the procedures or about the, the actions that must be taken by the crew. So if you check all the answers, the best one is to run regular drills, drills to make training for the crew to be ensure that they are competent, they are uh, knowing everything about what to do, okay? But the other answers are not right. Uh, number 34, why do you conduct a trip drill? Drill, why do you do drill when running in hole? Any drill or any training, just to you have done it, you, you do it to be, unsure, to be sure that all the crew know everything about what to do in the emergency cases. So the best answer here is to provide the drill crew with the training if there is a kick while tripping. This is the best answer. Uh, number 35, what is the most important reason, reason for regular well control and emergency drills? Uh, what is the most important reason? What are the reasons to make the drills? Okay, these also are the same uh, the same question but in different words. So number A to train or to allow all supervisors to train new crew members. No, this is not the right answer. But the best answer is number B to demonstrate crew competency. Competency, okay, competency which means they are strong in knowledge or something like that using well control equipment and emergency procedures. So number B is the best answer or is the right answer. Number 36, which action help to prevent swabbing? As I told you, the reasons of swabbing is to pull out of hole quickly in high gel strength or uh, low clearance and blah, blah, blah. So you have to break this uh, reasons to uh, to avoid swabbing so the best answer here is to bump out of hold because when when you are bumping out of hold you are you don't have uh, gel strength because gel strength is while static condition not like the LD point in survival circulating so if you are circulating or bumping out you will never get swabbed uh, or swabbing so the best answer is number D okay uh, number 37, after a connection, the active bit level doesn't return to the same volume level, which means, which means, which means that it becomes static or there is no, there is no level, okay, it has to be uh, decreased, but here there is no, so as before the connection, so what could be this indicate? For sure you got influx, for sure. If you got influx, so once you start bumping, once you start bumping, the level will not be the same like before. So the best answer here is number D, there was an influx during the connection. So the right answer is number D, but here number A is wrong answer. This is due to some problem in photocopying or something like this. but this is the right answer is number D, okay? Uh, number 38, on trip out of hole, you are about to pull 
non-shearable DHA components. What are non-shearable? Which means the drill color through the BOV. Before continuing, what procedures must you follow? What procedures must be followed? First one, you have uh, here two answers and two answers means two right answer because if one answer, you will get all wrong. Number A, confirm the crew and the rig have the ability, the ability <coughs> to follow the non-shearable uh, shot in procedure. Yeah, this is the right answer. Number B, do a float check before non-shearable components if enter the BOB. Also, this is right answer because to, to be to guarantee that everything is going okay. Okay. Um, number 39. During well operations, the drilling fluid becomes gas cut, which means it uh, gas cut, which means that the gas enters the mud. And its volume, its uh, mud weight became less than the required. What is the impact on the operation? What is the impact on the operation? Uh, this is a warning sign, and the well must be flow checked. So you have to take the action. If the mud has gas cut, you will see also from the gas report that comes from the mud logger and the blah blah. Is a percent of gases, so you this is a warning sign. So you have to make a flow check. If if the flow check is negative, uh, you will continue. If it is positive, you have to shut in the well right now at the at the moment. Uh, number forty during well operation during well operation, which means during drilling. Okay, the drilling fluids becomes gas cut. What action should be taken? Okay, what action? First of all, stop operation, make a flow check, and then notify the supervisor, and he will uh, take action, maybe increasing the mud weight, or he will check about this issue. Uh, number 41, what is the one positive indicator? Here is positive indicator, which means you have already taken a kick. Okay, what, what is one positive indicator that the well is flowing? There is increase in the flow return, increase in the flow return, but the others, the increase in bump pressure, no, it is decrease in bump pressure, uh, if, you, if it is positive indicator also, but the others are called uh, warning signs. But the positive indicator is increase in flow returns. Uh, which are positive warning signs? Positive warning signs. Take care of all of this. Warning signs of a kick while drilling. Have two answers. Number, I think, number increase in flow rate. No. Bit volume. No. The trip gases also. No. But number D, increase in flow rate with constant bump strokes. Increase in flow rate with constant bump strokes. And number E, increase in bit volume. So this is increase and this is increase. Uh, the flow sensor shows a total loss. The flow sensor total shows a total loss of return. And the mud level cannot be seen in the annulus. What immediate action should be taken? What immediate action if you take total loss? First of all, try to fill the well with anything, with water, with any mud, to avoid any well control issue. If there is a problem and you cannot handle at this time, you have to go to the show and after this start, and after this start to mix more, uh, mix more mud or something like this. Uh, this situation happened with me. With me, uh, we talk total losses, and at this time, I didn't tell the team leader and ball out of hole to the to the show, and I bumped mud cap until I mix it uh, until I mix it the the I tried to fill fill with water, but there is no water as, or the, the, it couldn't be filled. We couldn't fill it, so we went out to that show until we mix it the. Uh, LCM bells, and after this, we run in hole and bump it the LCM. It failed, and blah blah. The other situations that we will take in the problem of the drilling problems in the course 
maybe I don't know when it start, but it will be later. So the right answer is to fill the annulus with water or lightest mud available and record the volume. It's very important because this situation is at this situation you will know if you get kick or no kicks have been taken. What is the main rule of the driller in preventing well control in the in incidents? Okay, as I told you, there is a reason which is called can be avoided when the drill the driller is clever or take care or pay attention. All of these words have the same meaning, or all, all these questions have the same words. So the best answer is, is number A. Taking actions to always keep whole full to keep whole full while tripping by bumping the metal displacement whether uh, closed end or open end number 45 which should what should the driller do after seeing the drilling break after seeing the drilling break to make flow check to make flow check or flow check to the well uh, number 46 what should the driller do when kick warning signs are seen? You have to make flow check. If it is positive, you have to shut in the well. If it is negative, if you are pulling out of full, you if it is positive, you have to make uh, full bottom up, full uh, circulation bottom up. This is negative, full bottom circulation bottom up to be sure that everything is okay. Then continue. Uh, number 47. Does the kick always occur after a total loss in circulation? No, it depends on the mud level in the annulus and the formation pressure. So this is the right answer. Uh, number 48, uh, how will bottom hole pressure be affected by gas cut mud while drilling? There will be a small drop, small drop in bottom hole pressure. Uh, number 49, gas cut mud may reduce the bottom hole pressure enough to cause a well kick. When is the when is bottom hole pressure reduced most? Okay, when the gas is near to the surface because at this time the gas has the maximum expansion and for this is, uh, the pressure is the lowest and for this you got you may get kick. Okay, so when the gas is near to the surface. Which of the following is not, is not an indicator of kick wireless to drilling? Okay, it's not. Bit gain, no. The decrease in bump pressure, no. Flow rate, increase, no. But it is decrease in bump strokes. Decrease in bump strokes. It means that the bump may have a problem or means that there is a back pressure on the bump due to anything in the lines or something like this so take care of this bump strokes maybe the sensor have problem maybe i another issue so this is not an indicator of kick while drilling number uh, 51 uh, while drilling which of the following situations makes kick detection with a pdvt bit volume totalizer more difficult for the driller okay allowing the mud losses by overflowing the shaker if there is losses on the shaker if you use, if you use the screens with a high api number so the losses will be very too much so that at this time you will never uh, know the bit totalizer the, the right volume on the bit totalizer also, if you make bypass for the shell shaker, you may have problems due to the cuttings and it may also cause some problems in the increase in volume. So you have to use the shell shaker, but at the same time, you have to avoid too much losses over the shaker so you can handle with, or you, have, you can know the right volume by a bit volume to the laser. So the right answer is number C. Okay, number 52, while drilling, which action can help you detect a kick early? While drilling, which action can help you to detect the kick early? Yeah, this is very important question. To reduce the range of pit volume totalizer and high 
and low alarm setting low alarm high and low alarm settings can must be uh, edited uh, in order to, to detect any small value and also the bit volume totalizer it must be as uh, as small as you can because if you got uh, one barrel it will give you plus or minus two feet or something like this so you can notice it uh, with your eyes uh, early Number 43, is it true that when pulling pipe out of hole, swabbing can only take place when the pit is open in the open hole? No, swabbing can occur also uh, at any level. Uh, for example, for example, uh, if you are pulling pipe out of hole, okay? So if you have, for example, uh, packers, Bucker and uh, for example, if you make storm valve, uh, earth is bucker and storm valve. Uh, if you need to change something in the uh, in the say in the BOB, okay, and uh, or you have to change the rams by using the RCS and uh, storm valve, and you pull out of hole uh, too much or high uh, with high speed, and you are in the casing. Also, the the swab may occur. If you are blowing out of hole also with packers uh, after making completion or something like this, you may take swab and it also may lead to problem. So the right answer is no. Okay. Number 40, uh, 54. While pulling out of hole, the weight indicator fluctuates due to tight spots. What will be its effect? It may lead to swabbed kick because tight spot tight spots as i told you it is from the reasons tight or low annular or tight clearance so it may lead also to swabbed kick so number c is the right answer uh, number 55 when pulling out of hole swabbing can be detected by comparing calculated volume with the actual volume in the trip tank how is swabbing be detected the swabbing can be detected when the hole takes less volume than calculated less volume than calculated uh, the last question or number 56 the measured gas percent in the drilling fluid increases from 8% to 9% over the past three years three days uh, what should you instruct the driller to do okay so if it is increase if it, it increases you have to see if there is additional warning uh, signs or not so the right answer here is to carefully monitor for additional warning signs as formation pressure may be increasing so number d is the right answer okay so the right answer uh, here we have finished the, the we have finished the questions today uh, inshallah we will uh, continue tomorrow for a new topic which is the shut-in procedures and we will take uh, examples and after this we will go directly to the uh, top hole drilling and to the driller method and to the simulator Thank you very much for this uh, lesson. I hope uh, you appealed. Uh, if this video appeals to you, please share, like, subscribe. This is your channel, not mine. Your support is highly appreciated. So, so inshallah, we will continue tomorrow. And thank you very much.